Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been meaning to for a while. Um, just haven't gotten around to it with how much work is uh, come my way, but I plan to do more in 2021. And I just came across uh, a little issue that was making me pull my hair out, but I luckily came to a resolution. This is specific to those using the project management module, which is uh, an add-on by Salesforce, I think only for nonprofits. I'm not sure if um, it's for non-nonprofits, but so far I've only dealt with it in NPSP orgs and for my nonprofit clients. Uh, but anyways, there's a functionality where you can enroll individuals in programs, enroll them in specific recurrences of that program called service schedules. And, uh, you know, there's a need to record attendance for most cases. And in this PMM or Pro program management module app, they do have a tab called attendance. <clears throat> but when you go to it, it basically just never loads. Uh, and I dug through their documentation. I dug through everything, um, you know, that I could assign permissions for apex classes, visual force pages. I looked at the lightning components. They're all managed. You can't really do much with them. I thought I was basically going to have to develop my own, uh, attendance tracking, you know, piece. Luckily, after a little more digging, I finally figured out how to get this to work. So what you've got to do is go to a service session record in Lightning and edit the Lightning page. Now in the Lightning app builder, finally, after going through several different records to uh, see what managed lightning components you could add to the page, attendance popped up here. So what you just got to do is you can really put it wherever you want. I'm going to make a new tab for my client and call it attendance done and drag that out. And literally in the preview of the lightning app builder, you could see it finally come to life save that activate it if you have to i've already activated this lightning page and it is luckily there uh, so that was a quick one uh, once again i do plan to make more videos but i i hope for those dealing with pmm since there's not much documentation on it this is certainly a help to someone thanks